Hi, Charles Cherney here. And in this video, I wanted to share five things I like about the neighborhood of West Cambridge in Cambridge, Massachusetts. So we're looking here on the screen at the map of the neighborhood, which is West Cambridge, and it includes Harvard Square to the east and is bordered by Fresh Pond on the west and the Charles River and Mount Auburn Cemetery to the south. And it's uh, perhaps the most famous neighborhood in Cambridge and uh, one that many people who come to Cambridge will visit and check out. And so I wanted to share with you five things I love about this neighborhood. So number five is that the neighborhood is bordered on water in two places, including Fresh Pond Reservoir, which I have here on the screen. And it's delightful that it has a 2.25 mile pathway that circles the reservoir, makes for a great walk, bicycle ride, or uh, if you're a runner, you'll see many people running around the reservoir. And if you have a dog, your dog can go off leash. Which, ma which makes this a very popular destination for dog owners. And uh, it's just a great resource. There's even a golf course, Nine Hole, that borders uh, the reservoir, the Fresh Pond Municipal Golf Course. Here's a shot I took of the reservoir. It's just such a shot in the arm to have this natural um, destination in West Cambridge. And there's beautiful foliage and vegetation and flowers, and it's well-maintained, and it's just a... Uh, a real sense of uh, the woods and a place apart if you go visit. Here I am pictured on a walk around uh, the reservoir and uh, additionally, here you see someone walking their dog off leash, which is, again, a very popular reality at Fresh Pond. Here's the golf course with the pond in the distance. It's very magical. And then in addition to Fresh Pond, West Cambridge is bordered by the Charles River to the south. Here we're looking at one of the bridges. Uh, this is the Weeks footbridge that crosses over the Charles River, bordering on West Cambridge. You know, there's always uh, boats to be found out on the river in season. And this is the Cambridge Boat Club one of several boat clubs, including several owned by Harvard, that you'll find on the river's edge. And in season, the head of the Charles is always a special day on the fall calendar that brings crews from all over to race up and down the Charles. Just love this shot of the Charles River. You can see Boston peeking out in the distance. It's a very tranquil, beautiful place, and West Cambridge is lucky to border on it. And then number four on my list, after the luxury of bordering on water, is that West Cambridge, in addition, borders on the Mount Auburn Cemetery. And this is the first uh, urban rural garden cemetery. And it's a national historic landmark. Borders on the Cambridge Water Town Line. And it's some 174 acres. And this is a very special um Arboretum Green Space. Many famous Boston Brahmins are buried here. There's many beautiful trees. It's extremely well maintained. And although it may seem odd to say it's pleasant to walk through a cemetery, uh, it is in fact the case that this Arboretum Park like um, place is extra special and well worth a visit. Pictured here are just a couple shots that show off the cemetery and the famous Washington Tower affords this view of Harvard Stadium and the Boston skyline in the distance if you get up on top of the tower. So it's just wonderful. Number three on my list of things I love about West Cambridge is Harvard Square, which, if you will, is part and parcel of West Cambridge. And this is a picture of me in front of my Compass office in Harvard Square at 1100 Massachusetts Avenue. And it's fun for me to have my office in the neighborhood and in the square and to be able to meet buyer and seller clients uh, here throughout the year. This is the Smith Campus Center in the heart of Harvard Square. And it's recently been reinvented. You may remember this if you've known the square for many years as where once upon a time the Obampa was located, but it's uh, been improved upon and made uh, more inviting by Harvard and renamed the Smith Campus Center, and it's in the absolute heart of Harvard Square. The Harvard Bookstore is a mainstay on Massachusetts Avenue in Harvard Square, and uh, beautiful picture windows, hard to walk by here without going inside. So Harvard Square is, with all it offers in terms of restaurants, shop services, the hustle and bustle of student life, a very extra special destination in West Cambridge. Number two on my list 
of what I love about the neighborhood of West Cambridge is Brattle Street. This is perhaps the most famous street in all of Cambridge. Uh, once upon a time, it was known as Torrey Row and home to the loyalists that supported the crown at the time of the American Revolution. And of course, what makes the street famous is that it's filled with many large, well-maintained, beautiful uh, mansions. Among those is the Longfellow House, pictured here. And this is owned by the National Park Service and run as a museum, so you can visit here to see this beautiful home. But in addition, there are many beautiful, well-maintained private homes on Brattle Street. And it's been my great good fortune as a top real estate agent over the last 25 years in the city to list several of these homes for sale on this beautiful street. I love that Brattle Street is open to all and you can go down the street by foot or by car and appreciate and observe and enjoy all these beautiful homes, several of which I'm showing here on screen. And then last but not least on things I love about West Cambridge is the neighborhood of Huron Village, which I've uh, focused in on here on screen on the map. It's part of West Cambridge and Huron Avenue is uh, the main street in Huron Village, it's close to Fresh Pond. And this is a shot of the village with the bank on the right with the clock. Love that. And it's a collection of small shops and services. The Spring Mar Bookstore has been in the village forever, and it's well run and well maintained. And then there's some newcomers always coming through, and it's nice to see this mix of eclectic small shops and services serving uh, the neighborhood and truly giving the village a village-like vibe. Of course, Formaggio Kitchen, which took over the Fresh Pond Market space, is a mainstay in the village and it's a you know first rate European grocery and they also sell coffee and you know it seems like it's the crossroads of West Cambridge when you go in there since so many people choose to shop at for Maggio. My name is Charles Cherney and myself and my business partner Maggie D pictured here welcome the opportunity to connect with you as you give thought to buying the right home or selling for the best price in West Cambridge or any of the other named neighborhoods of Cambridge or neighboring Somerville. Reach out by text telephone or email, we welcome the opportunity to connect with you and be of service. Be in touch. Take care.